This is by far the worst pain I've ever been in in my entire life. It was just, it was excruciating. A healthy Spokane teenager, a three sport athlete, sent to the hospital with a potentially life threatening illness that helped trigger a now nationwide recall. Good evening, thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Nadine Woodward. Now, she did what many people like to do. She just took a bite of raw dough when baking cookies. But what happened next, though, is something she never expected an E. coli infection that she is still dealing with months later. In this KXOI 4 News exclusive, Alyssa Donovan tells us how this national food recall hit very close to home and Alyssa as bad as it was a 17 year old Sydney Rippon is still very lucky things didn't get worse. Oh, that's right. And Sydney spent um, about a week here at Sacred Heart where doctors told her if it weren't for her athletic build, this illness likely would have killed her. Instead, she is slowly recovering today and she is likely going to get better in uh, several months. It doesn't take much. They say it's just one bite. It's just like one tiny bite. That bite of raw cookie dough Sydney Rippon ate in February has cost her. I still don't feel normal. A week after she ate the dough, the teen had such bad cramps she could hardly stand. And they've ran a couple tests and then within like I think a day or a little bit they figured out it was E. coli. The otherwise healthy 17 year old spent a week in the hospital. Shedding like stomach lining and everything. Yeah, it got bad and I lost a lot of weight. This week, Rippin learned how she contracted the deadly strain of E. coli. They think it's associated with flour that was in the cookie dough. Health officials have tied Rippin's E. coli and more than 30 others nationwide to General Mills flour. Today, 10 million pounds of flour have been pulled from the shelves. Rippin says a handful of the people sickened were young girls right around her age. Missing more than three months of school, the high school junior is still catching up. My teachers are really understanding, so they are giving me a little bit of leeway with that too. And I'm doing my work. I'm like hard cramming it out <laughs> as much as I can. But everyday and, tasks um, are harder now was, than they've ever though. been. They've Everything that was easy for me to do, like volleyball and just any kind of sport activity, even just going out and hanging out with friends, it's harder to do. Like it, and I like my energy is just drained. The effects of the illness could last up to a year, but she's grateful the recall will stop others from feeling the pain that she is still dealing with. This is by far the worst pain I've ever been in in my entire life. And Rippin says as she's recovered, she's starting eat, started to eat a lot healthier, and she's going to continue those habits so that she never has to feel anything like this again. She also hopes to educate people on E. coli, informing them that it's more dangerous than a typical foodborne illness, and it can cause more long-term effects. Reporting in Spokane, Alyssa Donovan, KXLY4 News.